give our back three a chance to counter attack. That's it, boys. Simple as that. Danny Kerr is very much keeping his feet on the floor. That's lovely from Smith. Look at the angle on him. And David! Smith kicks. A little chase for Esther Hayes. And this is Murphy. Welcome to my house down in Brighton. Uh, we're just having an, a traditional Filipino dish with my mum. My mum's knocked it up. So this is my mum, Suzanne. Hola. Uh, it's my brother, Luke, and right. my, my youngest brother, Thomas. Hello. Uh, my dad's up and upstairs working at the minute. Uh, he's a hard working guy, so he'll just pop in and out when he can. So I was born in the Philippines with my two younger brothers. I spent a lot of good times with them in Asia. My mum's Filipino, Suzanne, and my dad's English from Brighton. We returned back to my mum's place of birth, and we were all born there, which was, which was special, and it's a, it's a special country for me that's close to my heart. We just used to have a lot of fun together, us three, as well as a lot, a lot of other expat kids who kind of congregated at this sports club in Manila, and that's kind of where I, I first held the rugby ball. Uh, probably my earliest rugby memory watching um was when Johnny did that drop goal against Australia and Jason Robinson scored that try in the World Cup final in 2003. Um, I don't know exactly if I was um, awake or I was living in the Philippines at the time at that, at that specific moment. However, my dad replayed that moment about 100 times during my, my childhood. So that's probably the biggest rugby memory um, growing up and playing. It's probably the best time I had playing rugby was when I was a lot younger in Singapore. Um, sort of my first memories of that was playing barefoot with, with my mates uh, whilst our parents were just enjoying a nice barbecue there, just playing touch for hours on end until the sun went down and then we'd repeat uh, at someone else's house or in another park and for me that's where I found the love uh, for the game and, and spending time with my friends as well as that um, really uh, got me excited about it and wanted, want, make, made me want to get involved. I guess when I moved back to England when I was 13, the love for rugby started. I went to Brighton College, which was much more rugby dominated school, and my coach pushed it hard on me, was just enjoy yourself and whatever you want to do, do it with a smile on your face, which for me is the kind of thing that resonates with me today. to be that Quinns picked me up at 14 or 15, I think, in the junior academy, and then progressed through through the age groups and stuff and managed to get a contract at 18. Yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed. Um, to get the opportunity to extend my time here at Quinns with a good good group of young lads is was a no-brainer, so I'm, I'm absolutely delighted, yeah. Marcus Smith has it a little short, and then goes on his own. Beautiful for Marcus Smith, gives it now. that happened towards the end of 2021, for me, I still can't quite believe how it happened so fast. I was desperate to play for England. For me, that meant everything. And I guess it's my brothers, my mum and my dad, who kind of just said, you're still young, keep working hard. Your dreams that you told us you want to achieve, that you enumerated, I could 
very much remember. He enumerated it in his hands. He said he wants to achieve a prem, prem uh, trophy. Uh, England caps. England's performance in the second half, but the clouds Who's are that? getting a little dark above Twickenham. Can they make this count? Randall offloads and Marcus Smith. He's enjoyed that. And Lions, he achieved it in three weeks. <laughs> Marcus Smith, the 22 year old, rising to the big stage so far. Very delicate execution to pick out Duhan van der Merwe. He is owning the park at times tonight. Look at Smith go here and a bit of Reese Lightning. Classic Marcus Smith goose step. The hair goes one way, the body goes the other. <laughs> the new arrival keeps up his 100% record from the tee. Took a bit of time for me, especially, I don't know about Marcus, but for me to kind of understand what he had achieved. Even watching his game on TV, we have tears in our eyes and it was uh, joy and pride from all of us. To manage to pull on the jersey, and sing the national anthem, looking at my dad and my mum and my two younger brothers. It's one of them things that I'll never forget. It's got me more excited for what's to happen, hopefully, in the future, because I've had a taste of it, and I know I've got... I can work a lot harder, I can be a lot better. Oh, England have got a penalty, and this one is in front of the posts! They can spin it! Smith! It's as good as England have been since the World Cup semi-final.